today our topic is lens formula to explain that one we have to take a object how to take a object first of all i would like to draw the diagram now let us choose a object o O dash. O dash is the object. We have to take biconvex lens. Biconvex lens. The representation of the biconvex lens is the arrows outwards. Choose a focal points on both sides F1 and F2. F1 and F2 are the focal points p is the p is the center of optic center p is the optic center and p dash we have to choose a point okay the rays directly coming and they are uh, traveling along the optic axis they won't deviate they directly come like this and the rays coming from the o dash intersect the intersect the biconvex lens at the pos position p dash and the, uh, as we know that when the rays are when the rays are parallel to the principal axis they meet the after the refraction they meet the focus they meet the focus suppose if we are extending like that like that that is going this is the ray refracted ray this is the f1 okay and uh, we want to know the image where the image formed that's where we have to draw we have to take one more line through the optic center from the o dash this is the another line i am drawing and these two are intersecting there these two are intersecting there that means here we can observe the image the image here how we can observe is image i okay, this point i am calling as a i dash okay suppose if you observe this diagram in this diagram what we can find is whenever we are using the biconvex lens the image is the image is inverted real and also the size is dimensional that means the size of the image is smaller than the size of the object this is the uh, description concept. Now, O dash is the object, I I dash is the image, P is the optic center. We have to take the distances. We have to take the distances. The distance between the optic center to the object that is called as object distance. That is we are denoting with the letter U. That is we are denoting with the letter u and the distance between the optic center and the image is that is v that is v that means from here to here from here to here this is v and the distance between the optic center to the focus that is f now our aim is that means here u is the u is the object distance u is the object distance and object distance v is the image distance the distance always we have to take from the optic center f is the f is the focal length f is the focal length our aim is to be derive the relation between the focal length object distance and also the image distance regarding that one we have to choose a triangle uh, from the triangle suppose if you observe here there are two triangles we have to take this is one triangle and that means uh, p p dash f1 p p dash f1 and i i dash f1 from those triangles from the triangles from the triangles p p dash 
from the triangles PP dash F1 and F1 F1 I I dash I I dash these are similar tri triangles these are similar triangles these are similar triangles these are similar triangles that's why how we can write is how we can write is PP dash PP dash by I I dash PP dash by I I dash equals to PF one by PF one by PF one by F one I F one I why because these two are uh, similar triangles so that means whatever the angle here that much of angle here also that's why uh, here the PP dash which is equal to the I A dash and also the PF one which is equal to the F one I. This one we have to call this one as a equation one. Equation one. But we know that F one I, F one I. We don't know the F one I value. But we can write uh, F one I equals to. So suppose if you take from here to here, that means P I. The total length of the P I. If we subtract the P F one. If we subtract subtract the P F one. Do we get the small value? Okay, so here, here we don't know the F one I value, F one I value. Okay, why? Because P P I dash, P P dash, P P dash means it is the over dash. It is equal to the over dash. Okay, I I dash is also same. Uh, that means maybe it is the less. Okay, first we should know the uh, F one I. F one I is we don't know. F one I is we don't know. Regarding that one. We have to take from here to here. Then, if we subtract this value, we will get this small value. We will get this small value. That's why I wrote here like that. Okay. Now we have to be substitute substitute in above equation in equation in equation one. Suppose if we substitute that one in the above equation, what we can get is P P dash by I I dash equals to P F one P F one by F one I instead of F uh, instead of F one I what we can write is P I minus P F one this one we can call as equation number two. Okay, we have another set of similar triangles here. We have another set of uh, triangles here. What are those? O O dash P P I I dash P I I dash. Okay. Uh, from the from the another set of triangles. What are those another uh, set of triangles? That is O O dash P O O dash P. O O dash O O dash P O O dash P and P I A I dash P I A I dash. Okay, from these triangles, what we can write is O O dash by O O dash by I I dash O O dash by I I dash equals to P O by P I O O dash by I I dash O O dash by I I dash O O dash by I I dash means suppose if you observe here, this is O O dash O O dash by O O dash by I I dash. Which is equals to P O P O by P I P O by P I O O dash by I I dash equals to P O by P I. That is second one. But from the figure, what we know is O O dash equals to O O dash, which is equals to the P P dash. O O dash equals to P P dash. Okay. From the diagram. From diagram. From diagram. From diagram. O O dash equals to O O dash equals to P P dash P P dash. Now if we substitute 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 in equation two and three from two and three. So that means what we can write is P P dash by I I dash P P dash by I I dash equals to P O by P P dash by I I dash equals to 
PO by PO by PA. PO by PA. This one equation called as 4. This one we can call as equation number 4. Now, from equations, from equations 2 and 4, 2 and 4, what we can write is, we get, what we can write is, that means what we can get is, PO by PI, PO by PI equals to PF1 by, PF1 by PI minus, PI minus PF1, PF1. We have to take the reciprocal. We have to take the reciprocal. Take reciprocal. Take reciprocal. That means inverse. If we do that one, PI by PO. PI by PO. Which is equals to, which is equals to PI minus PF1 by PF1. That equals to how we can write is, how we can write is, that implies P i by P o which is equals to P i by P f 1 P i by P f 1 minus P f 1 by P f 1 by P f 1. That means P i by P o P i by P o equals to P i minus P f 1 minus 1. P f 1 by P f 1 that is minus 1. Okay. Now we have to we have to divide above equation with with P I with P I. Suppose if we divide that one P I by P O already there, already there, but we are dividing with one by P I. Dividing means P i that equals to P i by P i the dividing factor into P of 1 is there P of 1 minus 1 by we are dividing with P i we are dividing with P i therefore P i P i cancel P i P i cancel P i P i cancel and here also P i P i cancel that implies what we can get 1 by P o which is equals to 1 by P F 1 minus 1 by P I. 1 by P O equals to 1 by P F 1 minus 1 by P I. P O is the opposite distance but it is in the reverse order. Reverse direction. P F 1 is the focal length. P I is the image distance. Now we have to substitute all those values in this equation. So what we can this call as equation, this equation we can call as fifth equation. Okay. Now from the diagram, from the diagram and by using sign convention, by using sign convention, by using sign convention, we can write PO which is equals to minus u why we are taking minus here uh, the why we are taking from the optic center uh, that is uh, from the optic center the incident ray is opposite direction that's why minus u and pi is the image distance pi is the image distance and pf1 is the pf1 is the focal length if we substitute if we substitute above values in previous equation in equation that means what is that equation fifth equation in fifth equation in fifth equation what we can get is 1 by 1 by uh, v minus 1 by u which is equals to 1 by f this is the lens formula. This is the lens formula. Okay, 1 by V minus 1 by U equals to 1 by F. Yeah. This is called lens formula. This lens formula we can use for any lens. 
this uh, lens formula we can use for any lens this is called as lens formula